Today we're looking at the flip side four wallet. This is a polycarbonate shell wallet that you don't see too many of these. So now thanks for visiting Wallatopia. Please go to wallatopia.info, register for videos and other notifications as well as manufacturer discounts. Now remember, if you want a no BS review on wallets and cell phone case wallets, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below. You'll see it during the course of the video. And remember, we purchase all the wallets we review. If somebody gives you a review where they've received it for free in exchange for a fair review, uh, it's still biased. So be wary of that. Now, as today, as mentioned, we're going to review the Flipside 4 shell wallet today. So let's get into it. It comes in a box. You can tell the color through here. And they come in various different colors, and so you can tell the color through this little opening here. So let's get this open. Let's see what we have here. Looks like we have the operator's manual. I'm sure there's a way. We'll figure this out. And here is the wallet itself. As mentioned, it's a polycarbonate shell, so it's meant to take abuse, be stepped on, probably not run over by a car, but uh, it will provide some good protection for what we... Oh no, sorry, we have to do this correctly. Wink, wink, there we go. All right. Very nice. Now onto the feature review of the Flipside Wallet version 4. Alright, the Flipside itself opens up through this button down here and it has a spring load within it and voila, it opens up. If we get into the interior, this is a card slot right here where you can put in a number of cards. We'll talk about how you access those once they're put in. Immediately opposite we have a tray and this tray uh, is moved, can be moved back and forth here and it has cards right here, you can put in here, so card slots there. Uh, it also has a quick access card slot right here. One card can fit right here. And on the opposite of it we have a cash clip. This cash clip can be used obviously for cash that folds over here but you can also put a card underneath it. You can also put additional cards on top of that. So it really comes down to whether you want to have cash cards uh, or one or, the, or both. It really comes down to that. Now on the outside, it has an attachment. And there are various different attachments you can apply to the flip side itself. This one provides a, a, uh, an elastic band. It's a little grippy band. It's got some grippiness to it here. It allows you to put additional cash cards, tickets, whatever you want under here for quick carry. And that is a quick review of the features of the flip side for wallet. Now to the caching card insertion test. Now I didn't of course measure this because we know it's it's solid and so it's not going to have any kind of uh, variation to it. I think a minimal carry of cards is is four, six is uh, is reasonable there. Now the company recommends up to eight cards and ten slips of cash. And what I really like about this is the, I mean it's you know kind of cool. Anyway, it's easy to put more cash, additional cards, business cards, stamps in here as well. And U.S. Australian currencies work great, but yen and euro they won't fit folded over just the once and laid it in. You'd have to fold it over twice to get in there. Now it is designed and manufactured in the United States. It's made from a high strength polycarbonate and aerospace grade aluminum, which I'm sure is in the spring, and is crush resistant design. There's always a concern that this would be the introduction of technology that would cause concerns, and of course it does, because once you introduce technology into a wallet, there is the likelihood that it will go wrong. Something will happen here. It's kind of cool. Now like I mentioned, this external piece here is attachable and detachable. So it is a uh, it's a piece that is provided by flip side and it actually attaches to the outside using these particular holes here. It also provides the ability to buy other items. Now the pricing on this is $40 and these additional pieces are sold separately which you can get off their website. Uh, the snap closure with a spring release it gives you access to the interior like we've talked about here. And with that it allows you to extract the cards from the shell. So let's see how we extract those. So opening it here 
we're presented with our, again, let's try that. Whoosh. All right, we're presented with the cards and the ability to do this is really thumbing these cards out. You thumb them out like this. Now, of course, how you get to the bottom card, I think that becomes a strategic thing of you put the most access cards on top. Same thing in the bottom here, you use the thumb uh, to push cards. And of course, that is definitely the case with the quick access thumb to push the cards out. This is very convenient. And with the clip for cash in here, this makes it very useful to be able to pull uh, the, the cash you want out, just pull it out and away you go. And so convenience is uh, expressed here. I, I really like how you're able to get to cards out of here fairly quickly. But again, the concern is how do you get to cards that are lower without pulling everything out? And with this here, you can definitely find the card you want, pull them out here. Up here, you have a little bit of a, dis of, a, of, a of a problem. You know, you could get in and look like this, but you've got to get your finger in there because it does interfere with the clasp area up here. And it's something to consider and it really in placement of where your cards go. Now being a shell case, you would figure one of the features of this is that it would seal shut. That there would be uh, some kind of a rubber seal around here, but there isn't. And so with that, it, you, know, you will get dust in here. It does cause problems like that. Water could get in here as well, just like any other wallet. So a rubber seal actually would kind of be a nice feature to this. By way of measurements, it's 4.3 by 2.8 by 0.8, and it weighs 85 grams. Well, there is metal in here, and there's a lot of plastic. The EDC crowd really appears like this, and it is pretty bulky uh, until you get used to it. And it is pretty expensive for a piece of plastic. But anyway, let's get into the final score. Quality of three, price a two, features a four, usability of four, and perception of three. That gives us a final score of 32 out of 50. If you want to see all the rankings for all the wallets that we've reviewed, click on the link here and it will take you to that. And if we haven't reviewed a wallet that you like, let us know and we'll get it and review it for you. Thanks again. Bye.